Welcome back. It's April Fool's Day, a day to play some practical jokes on your friends and a day about spreading hoaxes. But we don't want you to be anyone's fool. So law enforcement, RTD, and even the DIA caught us off guard today with some of these funny stories. Here's the first one. In an effort to link the airport iconic architecture with the great outdoors, DIA took to social media to announce that it had partnered with the Colorado York Company to give the company naming rights to the airport's iconic tented rooftop. I mean, just imagine if the tents at DIA or green and another April Fool's joke we thought was hilarious RTD announcing you can re report rude behavior using a new report a Jimmy app. Now if you try downloading the app a new tab opens with huge letters saying it's all a joke. Then there is this for Collins police trying to pull a fast one releasing this video of their first feline unit. Yes you heard it right the first claw enforcement officer in the nation who already made his first arrest. Take a listen. Felines also have a 37 and a quarter times better smell uh, than humans do, which will help us in our uh, drug interdiction and apprehension of drug dealers across the uh, city. Officer Buttersworth on his first day on patrol actually arrested a cat burglar that was wanted for a string of burglaries throughout the city. Oh, they got jokes. They got jokes. Hats off to the Fort Collins Police Department on this April Fool's joke. And other law enforcement agencies are having fun with it. The Boulder County Sheriff's Office tweeted back at Fort Collins Police congratulating them on their feline unit and tweeted this out saying they had promoted their baby owl to sergeant. They're just all full of it today. And we looked into some of the famous pranks of the past involving the Denver Nuggets, Wanku Brewery, even more from Denver International Airport. To read more about some of those historic pranks, we have a full story up right now on our website, thedenverchannel.com.